Hello everyone and welcome to the topic of integrated access and backhaul. It is also known as IAB. In integrated access and uh, backhaul, which is also a proposed topic in 3GPP release 17, it allows multi-hop backhauling using the same frequencies and these frequencies involve for UE access or a distinct or dedicated frequency. These specification define two antenna system types like it require an integrated access and backhaul node and a donor. The function of the donor is to terminate the backhaul traffic from the distributed nodes. Basically these nodes can be backhaul endpoints or they are as a relays between those endpoints and the donor. So the function of IAB is to allow for multi-hop backhauling. This, it requires a decomposed RAN model. This model that employed in O-RAN architecture. The O-RAN architecture basically decouples the distributed unit from the central unit. The DU is present in only the IAB nodes where the donor system also comprises a CU. Because of this approach, it ensures that the backhaul is completely isolated so routing changes are not propagated in the 5G code. So this is an important release 16 feature in 5G new radio and it is uh, enhancement is there in release 17 and it enables rapid and cost effective millimeter wave mm wave deployments through self backhauling in the same spectrum. It is basically a multi-hop approach to network deployment and allows deployment of MM wave base stations with or without fiber backhaul transport. We can say it is a compliant cloud RAN architecture with the split of the DU and the CU. So IAV it basically aims at architecture and protocol design. Integration pro procedure is there, routing, BAP and BH configuration. So it provides basic support for duplexing enhancement, topolo topology enhancement, user plane enhancement and network coding. The purpose of IAV is to replace existing backhaul system with flexible wireless backhaul using the existing bands. So this is about IAB. Thank you.